From a user's point of view, AutoCAD 2013 will seem very much like 2012 or prior releases, with a few differences. Let's go ahead and see where a few of those are. So moving around the perimeter of the interface, we see here the Cloud Options control. And this ties in how your current drawings or files are going to be saved to your Autodesk 360 account. More on that here in just a second. Now, continuing to move across, we see that the sign in function has now been changed so that it's not just online options, it's Autodesk 360, which gives you a comprehensive way to back up your interface settings as well as the files that you're working on. And that ties into the cloud settings that we saw just a moment ago. Continuing to move across, we see the Autodesk Exchange apps. This gives you a place where you can go to get app style add-ons for AutoCAD 2013 in a similar fashion that you would go to an app store for your mobile phone. Continuing to move across, we see the stay connected functionality. Pulling this down, we can see that this is where product updates, subscriptions, and social media linkages are provided. Continuing along to help, there will be some changes in the way the help system itself functions but from an interface point of view, your users will access it in much the same way. Moving down towards the bottom, we'll see the annotation monitor. And this is a utility that will allow you to know whether underlying geometry, which is probably 3D in nature, is affecting any two-dimensional views in annotation objects like dimensions that might exist in your layout tab. So that's something, a little broader topic, but just to let you know from an interface point of view, the annotation monitor is there. Another big change in the way 2013 operates is with respect to the command line. What we can do here is trigger aliases or commands. In this case, I'm just going to use C for circle. And we can see that we now have clickable links, which would allow us to, rather than having to key in 3P for the three point function, we could simply click it. Notice the cascading command history that goes out the top of the command window here. And as soon as you complete a command or cancel out of it, the command history will gray out and kind of fade into the background. This is a big enhancement, and you may actually find that a lot of your users will be using the command line more in 2013 than they have in prior releases. So all in all, no huge interface changes, but enough new stuff going on that you're going to want to brief your users on what these new functions are.